Hey guys, okay, so I really wanted to make a quick review on the Mini House 8888 hair extensions. Uh, let me preface this by saying that you can buy these on eBay. Just search Mini House 888. I originally bought the lightest blonde that you can get, which I think is platinum blonde, uh, because I knew that I was going to be dyeing my hair blue and I wanted, I didn't want to have to bleach it and, you know, damage the, um, the, 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 the texture of the hair. Gosh, I swear to God. Um, so yeah, so Mini House 88 hair extensions. I was suggested by somebody, uh, I'm not going to say who, uh, but by a YouTuber online to get um, a set of two of the smallest hair extension packages from them that you can get, like a, the smallest piece hair extension that you can get from them, but get two of them. Because this girl had really thick hair and she suggested that two would make for a fuller uh, effect rather than getting one of the largest pack. So I did that and I really, holy crap, what was that? Anyways, um, I really think that was a good idea because I do, when I was putting them in, just the first package after dyeing them blue, um, I realized that I hadn't even had half my hair covered, my head covered yet. Uh, so if you have thick hair, I would honestly suggest getting the smallest um, piece package that they give you but get two of them. Um, and if you plan on dyeing your hair a lot, I would get also a blonde color because it's easier to just dye over the blonde than it is to bleach the crap out of like a brown hair set and then, you know, dye over that. Um, the only problem that I have with the Mini House 888 uh, hair extensions was that one, it came really effing late and you'll hear everyone talk about this online. It came so late. It came like a month late and it was I don't know. It just took a long effing time. But I think it was worth it because, for instance, I bought hair extensions for my prom about two years ago. Wow. High school. Was that long ago? Holy fuck, I'm old. Um, yeah, two years ago. And uh, they were co they cost me a pretty penny. They were about $200. And to, like, beauty gurus, that's like nothing. Oh, my God. $200 hair extensions. That's a fucking shit ton. That's like a two-week paycheck for me. So I spent about $200 on hair extensions. And they were really nice. They were human Remy hair. Um, and they were full, but they got tangled and just messy so quickly and I couldn't blend them. No matter how much I straightened my hair, I couldn't blend them together. So on prom night, I had to curl the shit out of my hair. Um, so I honestly felt like these hair extensions were just as good, if not better than the Sally's hair extensions. And they were so much cheaper. I, like I said, I bought two of the smallest packages that they had and they cost 25 a piece, came out to 50, about $10 for shipping. So it came out to 60 altogether, $60 compared to $200 hair extensions from Sally's. So I think the weight is definitely worth it. They also came a little frazzled and disheveled um, inside the packages, which kind of pissed me off. But after, you know, curling it and training it and dyeing it and blah, 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 they, they turned out good. Uh, the only thing is, is if you do not have the hair for this, for this uh, look already, like the, the layered hair, it will not blend well. If you have short, choppy hair, I guarantee you're going to have a bitch-ass time trying to blend your hair with this. Um, I actually had to go get my hair cut in layers because my hair looked, my hair was just very solid straight across, and it just would not blend well. Um, and it doesn't look good blended straight for me personally. So that's why I have it curled at the moment. And I still have a few pieces that are of my natural hair that are really short that the lady cut um, trying to frame my face. So when I don't feel like spending a whole hour blending the shit out of my hair, um, like blending the thing, like my natural hair with this hair together, I just throw in a hat and honestly it just solves the problem so easily. So I, altogether I would give this about an eight, uh, out of 10, just for the fact that it was cheap. Um, it felt nice. Uh, it blended better than the Sally's. So it's the best that I've had thus far. Um, the only downsides, like I said, was that it came really late and you have to have a specific haircut to make this work. Um, also, I want to also, I also want to say blah, blah, blah. That was a lot of also's. God damn shit. This is why people write scripts for their fucking videos and they rehearse the shit out of them. I need to do that, but I'm too fucking lazy, so I won't. Um, but just like makeup, just like anything you do, you'll progress in get better at it. Like, do you see my eyebrows? See my eyebrows? See, see that girl? Yeah. Yeah. See that? 
fucking talent right there. I used to draw, I used to like shade in my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows are pretty full as is, but I do like to like make them more even and symmetrical and whatnot with shadow, uh, with eyeshadow. Uh, but when I used to fill in my eyebrows, I looked like an effing man. Like they would always come, always come out like straight. I would have like this angry manly brow look and I would get so pissed off because all these like girls online had perfect eyebrows. They knew how to fill it in perfectly. But let me tell you something. After a year or so, there was a day that came and I was like, shit, I did my eyebrows good today. And then every day afterwards, I got progressively better. And it's the same thing with hair. You're going to have a, if you've never had hair extensions, you're going to have a terrible time trying to put them in at first. Um, the clips are probably going to stick out in certain areas. You're not going to be able to blend them as well. And that's where these beautiful beanie hats come in handy because if you're lazy like me or if you're having a hard time blending your hair, if the clips are showing, you just throw on a fucking hat and they're good. So, um. Um, I would definitely recommend for the girls with thicker hair to get the smallest set, but get two pieces of them. The one, it's a set, I don't know, it's like an eight piece set, I think, and it's about $25. Uh, you can find the mini house 8888 on eBay. Uh, it is from China, I believe. So like I said, it takes a long time to ship, but I definitely think these are the best that I've had. I've had two before this, both from Sally's and I just, I, I think that Sally's is a complete ripoff. Um, now that I've purchased these for about the same quality, if not better, for about one third of the price that I would have gotten Sally's. So yeah, also, um, I got a message from my friend who <laughs> lives in a different state, so it's an online friend who watches my videos, and he's like, no offense, but why the fuck did you bleach the hell out of your hair just to dye it black? And I'm like, dude, my hair's not black. Like, my camera is shit, guys. My, um, this is a web camera, like, built in to my, uh, computer screen, it does not have good quality. It is shit quality. My hair is neon blue. My hair is bright as fuck. I get stopped in the middle of the road, walking by like cat callers who are like, yo blue chick, you know, like my hair is fucking like noticeably, noticeably blue as shit, but you can't see it because this fucking camera sucks dick. So I did not bleach quote unquote the shit out of my hair and dye it black. It is in fact neon blue. And I'm sorry that my camera isn't good enough so I can show it to you. Um, but yeah, altogether, I would definitely say go get the Mini House 88 hair extensions. Maybe one day when these kind of like um, go to shit, I'll, I'll try a different brand and uh, review those. But I just wanted to put this out there because I feel like so many of the big YouTubers like do these review videos and it's not really trustworthy. I'm not trying to down on the big beauty gurus, but you know, they, they're they're paid they're paid youtubers and i have the small suspicion that they're paid to give good reviews i'm not saying everybody i'm just saying probably a lot of them and i don't have that many subscribers so you guys honestly this is my honest opinion of this hair extension that was the longest video for fucking hair i apologize holy shit i'm gonna go this is what waking up at fucking 6am does to you um but yeah i'll talk to you later guys bye